Just nine days after making a winning start on his pro debut, Prince Nazim was back in the ring, this time at the GMEX Centre in Manchester to take on Sean Norman. Norman was seven years younger than Hamed's first victim, Ricky Beard, and had considerably less experience with only five fights on his record. Even more worrying for Norman's connections, their man had only enjoyed one previous victory. Not many at a packed GMEX centre fancied his chances against the flashy young teenager who was quickly becoming the talk of British boxing. But Norman's ring entrance, strictly businesslike and purposeful, suggested the air of a young man who knew he had absolutely nothing to lose and possibly an awful lot to gain from sharing a ring with the country's young pretender. Who knows, maybe he even genuinely believed he had a shot. And gentlemen, please, ladies and gentlemen, this is a six rounds flyweight contest of three minutes each round and a match made at eight stone three pounds. Between, and an introduction to you from Leicester, Sean Nunn. And in this corner from Sheffield, Prince Nassim. At the weigh today, Norman scaled 8 stone 2 and a half pounds. That's Hammond scaled 8 stone 2 pounds. And your referee for this contest is Mr. Roy Stark of Mexborough and your timekeeper Frank Capewell of Sheffield. It was the biggest audience of the young prospect's brief career. But the prospect of a packed house didn't seem to daunt him one bit, quite the opposite. Here was a young man heading for top of the bill status. Watching this one at ringside in the commentary position, Barry McGuigan and David Brenner. Second bell, round one. Well now, our second glimpse of Prince Nassim Hamed. Bryn Mingle's latest protege. We saw his pro debut in Mansfield. He KO'd Ricky Beard with a body shot in two rounds. That's my first glimpse of him live. I actually watched him that night for about a round and a half and I actually missed the finish of the fight. But there was a hell of a start to stop Ricky Beard in two rounds in his pro debut. He's very fast and very flashy and there's glimpses of a young Harold Graham there. But uh, he makes the same mistakes. He hangs his chin up in the air, which is a Wee bit silly, but he's only a kid, like. He's, but he's fabulous moves, great, great speed and agility. Yeah, a, only 18, glittering amateur career. Knowing Brendan Ingalls' little habit of naming his fighters. You're surprised that Nassim Hammer doesn't become Paddy Mulligan or somebody, but Prince Nassim <laughs> Hammer he is. <laughs> he comes from the Yemen. <laughs> And he's, well, he's a good kid. Yeah, very flash. 
switching from southpaw to orthodox is perfect balance that's a great asset to have boxing and, and, and positioning for punching is all about balance being able to put yourself in the right spot at the right time he has tremendous upper body movement and, and, and great speed in his legs to uh, you know the, the oh, obviously Connor, one, two, three. Oh, he's hurt this kid he switched about so many times I don't know which points that was that actually hit him it was a left hook he, he's, he's he's taken one or two lessons out of the Chris Eubank school of unorthodoxy Beard tagged him a couple of times in his in his debut. Yeah, well, as I say, he just hang his chin out. And that's the only sort of thing that he has to work on. Is to he, he actually goes up straight when he goes back. He hangs his chin up in the air. But uh, he's cut this kid to. He's actually cut below the left hand. Yeah. Norman. But he's, he's certainly banging. Him. There's lots of power there, and his ability to punch. Yeah, look at that for an unorthodox left uppercut. And this kid's not able to fight for a title for another three years. British title, domestic title. He's calling him on and he's got all the flashy moves, hasn't he? What a devil. go back to Nassim's corner, Brendan Ingle. I didn't know he was a paratrooper. It's a dinky little red beret he's got. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a strange looking hat. <laughs> and Nassim looking at him like Brendan Ingle is explaining some deep and meaningful truth, which he probably is knowing, Brendan. Yeah, we get a glimpse of this knockdown. He, uh, you said it was a left. Uh, I, I believe you want to see it. He switched around so many times. Let's have a look. You know which one it was? Let's have a look. Bang. Oh, yeah. You're right. Yeah. Correct. And a bit of a shove there to help him on his way. Call us 10 seconds. Seconds out. Round two. Second round then. Prince Nassim Ahmed in the leopard skin trunks. And his opponent, Sean Norman, from Leicester in the red. Had one knockdown, left hook. Norman dumped on the seat of his pants in round one. Yeah, if Nassim stopped the showbiz and just got on with it, he could stop this game in a couple of minutes. Um, he's, you know, he's got a lot of nonsense there. He should get stuck in and get the job finished. He's got superb talent. He should use that in the right way. Here he goes. Good oh, he's doing a job on Norman now. Oh, this is good stuff. This is very impressive. And Norman is getting a fearful pasting in this round. And down. That was a bewildering attack. Stopped it. His second successive victory inside two rounds. Yeah, very sharp looking stuff that Yeah, I can forgive him for all this madness that he's had in the ring because he's got superb talent. Again, as he was finishing the kid normally walked onto a a punch with it. he stuck his chin up in the air, but tremendous tremendous ability to switch his position. Punches are incredible. It's the way he's able to that's it, winding up the right hand, left uppercut, got his head out of the way. <laughs> right hand, he can think of a half a dozen things at the one time. Follows him straight after him. No. And this has got game to be about this has got to be about a, thir a thirty punch combination. This unanswered. Yeah. But it's uh, it's where the punches are actually coming from that is the, is the most exciting thing about it. He's a, he's a genuine real prospect. Great performance. Two fights, two wins, two stoppages for this young man. And the arrogance is all very well. He's got something to be arrogant about. <laughs> See what I mean? And if Brendan Ingle just calms him down a little bit, he has got a real prospect.
We will be seeing more of Prince Nassim Hamad. I wonder if he is our new Pro Box Discovery for 1992. We shall see.